everybody, welcome back to the Cop Spirits. Um, today I'm going to be doing a favorites video. A lot of the people I am subscribed to on YouTube, um, a lot of my friends here on YouTube have been doing favorites videos and they look like they're a lot of fun. Um, so I thought I'd just jump in and do it for February. Um, a few of these things that I have, I've been loving in January too, um, but they were more so towards the end of January, so it kind of still counts. Um, so yeah. Um, so I have some, uh, an arrangement of things, um, some random house decor things, um, I have a, a piece of clothing, obviously movies, horror movies, gonna have to talk about those, so just gonna get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to share with you guys is a book I've been loving this month, and anyone who knows me knows that I'm obsessed with serial killers, um, not, I don't condone what they do, but... They're interesting. Nobody can deny that. They are super interesting. Um, most books that I read are about serial killers. Um, and I do prefer sort of coffee table book style books rather than novels. Um, so I found this one recently when I was shopping. Um, it's just basically Mysteries of the Criminal Mind, The Secrets Behind the World's Most Notorious Crimes. Um, so it's not just about serial killers. It's got a bunch of stuff in here, but it's the Time Life Books one. Um, and I really like this because it reads like a magazine, so it's easy to just pick up, read a bit, put down. Um, but it's really cool. It goes through like the forensics and then it gets kind of into like case by case. Um, but it looks pretty good. I haven't got that far into it yet, but I am loving it. Um, it's super interesting. A lot of the people in here I've already heard about, but there are some um, that have definitely taught me a little bit. I really like this book for sure. Definitely enjoy this. I highly recommend this. Um, they have another one called Mysteries of the Unknown and I'm really into like aliens, um, conspiracy theories, all that. So I might actually have to pick that up, but this is a really good book, highly recommend it. So next I'm gonna talk about some music that I've been loving lately. Um, I am the type of person to listen to things like, let's say Rob Zombie is my favorite music artist ever. Um, Metallica's up there. I love Korn. Um, uh, what else? I've been listening to, I like Disturbed, System of a Down, that kind of music. Um, not necessarily heavy black death metal um, craziness, but I would consider it hard rock, metal, whatever. Um, but I also love like the oldies. I'm a huge fan of 70s, 80s music. 80s music is my jam. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that. <laughs> Um, always posting about 80s jams, everything. I love it. Um, but lately I've been getting into um, a couple more heavier rock bands and that is In This Moment and Coheed and Cambria. I've always been a fan of some Coheed and Cambria but I recently kind of start discovering more of their older music and I really like it. I've um, been obsessed with it lately. It's been my shower music. Um, shout out to anyone else who listens to music in the shower because I do. I cannot shower without music. Um, but also in this moment, it took me a bit to get used to Maria Brink's voice, but after I did, I'm in love with it. Um, their newest album is amazing. Her cover of In the Air Tonight is incredible. I'm going to link it down below so anyone else can listen to it, but In the Air Tonight is one of those songs that like, really can anyone cover it, but she did an amazing job. It is such a good song. Um, so I highly recommend those both of those bands to anyone in this moment is heavier obviously and i don't know i really like them i've been really into them lately and i've also been loving my old music lately i've been back into the cars of all people um i recently rediscovered most of their music so i've been putting those on repeat but yeah so that's a little glimpse into my music taste i might actually do a video on my favorite bands and stuff in the future but that's what I've been loving lately, a lot of that. Um, and just to throw it in there, a lot of like Metallica's live music, like their S&M album is incredible. It's so good, highly recommend it. Next up is an app that I've been loving and that is Letterboxd. Um, I'm sure everyone who's watching this video knows about Letterboxd. It is incredible. Um, I actually discovered this in the beginning of the year and I had been using it, but I'm loving it lately. Um, I've been keeping track of every single movie I watch, unless it's like something that I throw on at night to fall asleep to. I'm not counting that as watching a movie, um, but 
I've been keeping track of everything on there. I'll link my letterbox down below if you want to follow me and I'll follow you back. Um, but it's really fun. You can track all of your movies on there, give them ratings, and then at the end of the year you can kind of look back on what you watched. Um, it also gives you the option to put, like to um, distinguish if you've seen a movie or not before. So um, you can kind of look back on how many new movies you watched and everything. So definitely recommend to any movie lovers. It's a nice way to keep track of what you've watched. You can also have a watch list on there. So I have plenty of movies on there that I've been meaning to get to. Um, but it's a great app. I love it. And the next thing I have to talk about is a podcast. Um, I am a huge fan of Kendall Ray on YouTube. Um, I'll link her channel down below as well. But if you're any anything like me and you like conspiracy theory videos, um, true crime videos, anything, she is she does such a good job at them. Um, you can tell she does her research. Um, she's very knowledgeable on everything and her videos are so much fun to watch. I've been binge watching her videos for the past few months. Um, but she and her husband, Josh Eldor, actually he has a really good channel too. I'll link his down below. Um, but both of them together have created a podcast called the Mile Higher Podcast. Um, I highly recommend to anyone who loves conspiracy theories. Um, I'll listen to it at work and it just blows my mind every single time. I definitely recommend this podcast. Um, it is so interesting. I think they have seven or eight episodes up right now. It's a fairly new podcast, so it's easy to get caught up and then continue to listen every week. Um, I believe they post Sundays too, so it's a nice Monday morning podcast to listen to at work. So definitely recommend. Next up is actually an item of clothing that I recently bought. I think I bought this at the beginning of February actually. Um, and it's just a sweater from American Eagle. I usually don't shop there because their shit is overpriced, but you know, sale rack man. Um, but it's, it's just this like plain gray sweater. It is very comfortable and it's got these little like tie ups on the sleeves. Um, but the only reason I bought this is because it ended up being less than $20 and it is the softest piece of clothing that I own. And I've pretty much been wearing this like three or four times a week since I bought it. Can't get enough of it. It looks great with everything. Anyone who knows me knows that I basically dress in shades of gray and black and red. That's pretty much my wardrobe. Um, so this is perfect for everything that I wear. It is so comfy and soft. Um, so I recommend this. It's from their uh, Soft and Sexy line. So shout out to American Eagle for having great sales. So the next thing I have to show you is actually going to be fairly hard to show you because it's a blanket. Um, so I'm going to insert a picture right here of when I bought it, um, but it is a Metallica blanket. I just mentioned that I love Metallica. I definitely classify those them as my uh, second favorite band of all time, but it is a big fleece blanket. I don't know if you can see that. It's insanely hard to show you, but it is the Master of Puppets album cover. Um, I had my eye on this at Spencer's for I don't even know how long. I was gonna get it for myself for Christmas and then I thought I didn't need it. Um, it was only $30, so don't know why I didn't buy it sooner. Um, but I was at the mall last month and I decided why the hell not, I'm gonna grab it. So it's great, it's comfy, it's just a fleece blanket, but I love it because it's Metallica. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend it to anyone. I mean, it's just like a Spencer's blanket, they have tons there. Um, so yeah, I'll link it down below if it's still available. Also, my cat has basically claimed this, so there's his hair all over it, but um, he likes to claim blankets when I put them on the couch. He makes a little nest for himself and then just lays in it. Um, so, you know, still my blanket though. You're not stealing it, Winston. Last but not least, I'm gonna talk about some movies that I've been loving this month, which is probably what you guys are here for anyway. So, finally getting around to it. Um, a new movie that I watched this month that I am loving is What We Do in the Shadows. Um, my friend, shout out to her, she um, recommended this to me last month and she's been telling me to watch it for a while but I finally got around to it and it is hilarious. It's another movie that I'm sure a lot of people have seen already because it's been out for a few years I believe, um, but it is hilarious. It's a vampire mockumentary kind of comedy and it's... It had me laughing the entire time. Um, I definitely recommend it. I believe it's on Canadian Netflix right now. I don't know about American Netflix, but definitely give it a shot. It's a great movie. Some other movies that I would put my favorites for this month um, are the Friday 13th films. I recently went to my dad's and he was kind of binge watching all of them. So I got to watch the first 
six or seven while I was there. Um, so, I mean, I really like those movies. I think up until then I had only really seen the first three and Jason X and Freddy vs. Jason, of course. Um, but I really enjoyed them, obviously. Um, I do need to make a point to watch the rest of them, but definitely fun movies. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone's seen them and I'm probably going to get crucified for not watching all of them up to this point, but definitely fun. And the last thing that I have to talk about in my favorites video is Twister. Um, I have not stopped talking about this lately. Um, I recently found this in the $5 bin at Walmart and um, kind of rekindled my love for the movie. Um, this is one of those movies that my brother and I watched constantly growing up and I'm really happy that I have it again. It is great. Anyone who has not seen this, I know it's not necessarily horror. I mean, it can be if you're terrified of tornadoes, but it's just a fun movie. Bill Paxton's great. Everyone watch this. Um, rest in peace, Bill Paxton, but highly enjoy this movie. Um, it's just fun. It's a great movie. So that was my favorite video for the month of February. Um, I might end up doing these monthly just because it was a fun video to make. You get to kind of see the side of me that's not all about horror. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey everybody, hope you like this video. Um, definitely be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.